So, hi and welcome to Place Riddle scripting tutorial. So, if you're totally new to this, you will still get it. You click insert and you shall insert a brick, any color you want. Uh, I don't care. And then you click insert, object, and script. Add a script there. Um, okay, so now we will erase the print hello world. We will add a loop, a while to do. Uh, this is a thing that will loop all the time, whatever you do. Uh, so it will start as soon as it ends. And uh, we can I can show you if I write while to do wait. Now I have to add an end for this uh, this uh, thing here you see here, the line. Uh, you have to add an end. Okay. So now. This uh, uh, while to do loop will start, it will wait one second, and then it will quit. And as soon as it quits, it will start again. So, it's a uh, forever looping thing. Okay, so let's do something. While to do wait, and then we're gonna access uh, the script. We, we say script, and that's the script we are writing in. Dot parent. If you look in properties, you can see parent, and that is the brick the script is lying in quite easy and then we say the brick which, <laughs> which this script is lying in uh, its size uh, will change to uh, vector 3 new 1.1.1 okay uh, as you see if you click the brick here and you scroll down to the size you will see its uh, th three digit number so you have to add a vector 3 new. You can't just write 1.1.1 1 because the script won't get that. So you write vector 3 new. Three new <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, we play. And there, there we have it. It's a tiny brick. So that's what the, this script do, uh, do so far. Uh, we can change other things in the script. Uh, we can change its brick color to brick color new bright blue. Yeah, we can change its brick color um, to bright blue. Uh, now we can't write vector 3 new because brick color is not a 3 digit uh, 3 digit value value it's uh, it's a color so we have to write brick color new so the script knows we are talking about a color here so now if we recolor the brick so you will see the change we recolor it to black and then we play one second and then blue yeah that's that's pretty cool um okay so we move on again you can you can do like this wait one second um it changes to bright blue and then we can tell it to wait another second and change to bright to dark green okay so if we play this now you will see it is changing to blue and then changing to green and blue and green all the time um, and this is uh, because it's uh, looping all the time so as soon as it quits it start over from the beginning oh yeah this th that's uh, easy to understand hope I hope so um, so let's do if it touches something then the event will start so we do script dot parent dot touched and then we have to connect it. If it's touched, then connect. And then we write the function we want it to connect to. Uh, function hello, hello, function whatever. Okay, function whatever. Uh, so when it's touched, it will connect to function whatever. And then we write the function. Function, and then we have to write whatever. Okay, and those. Oops, I have to zoom in. You see here. Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> forgot to zoom in. Uh, here's the script parent touched, and then we have to do a connect to whatever, and then it connects uh, connects to the function whatever, and we have to do these uh, behind whatever. 
even though we didn't uh, write it here we have to do it uh, and when it's touched uh, script parent you know what that is uh, dot size is equal to and then we can do script parent parent size plus vector 3 new 1.1.1 Okay, so now it is, um, the script here uh, will the size of this brick will increase by uh, one uh, one uh, stud each side uh, when it's touched, and then we have to end the function. If you don't end it, the function won't run. So you have to end it. Uh, remember these lines here: one end uh, per line. So okay, let's run this. Uh, we will lift it up in the air so it will touch uh, it can't touch anything if it's already touching something I mean if it's uh, if it's on the ground it won't touch the ground because it's already on the ground so you have to ma make it in the air and then let it fall down to the ground and you will see now what hap what's going to happen it's increasing as you saw there increase every time it hits the ground and uh, yeah, just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Quite cool.